Greetings to everyone present here. Welcome and thank you all for coming today. This is Chief Economic Advisor Puja Kemprai, along with Honorable Governor General of Bank of Japan Subhagmi Borua, and also Honorable Chief Economic Secretary Ritesh Sharma, under the guidance of uh, Mrs. Karabi Kumar Kalita, the Finance Minister of Japan, and Honorable Suman Das, the advisor to the finance minister representing the country Japan. I want to thank Mr. Ramesh Babu, the honorable host of World Trade Organization for hosting us in World Economic Forum this year. This is the, uh, the uh, this is the statement given by the finance minister, placing more value on collective and long-term well-being will better serve Japan as it navigates global changes. It means that in short, through collective collaboration of different countries, we can work together for the welfare of the people and also for the welfare of all the nations. Next, it is our mission. Our mission is reskilling can help transform the future of work in Japan and the world. There are also many unskilled labor in Japan in spite of many skilled, skilled laborers so we can improve our respective economies by reskilling, which can boost the future work of respective nations. So without wasting any time, I want to, uh, I want to get into the forum. Uh, first, I would like to start with the types of economy of Japan. Japan is an island nation in East Asia, located in the Pacific Ocean. It borders China, North Korea, South Korea, Russia, Taiwan, the Sea of Japan, the Sea of Okhotsk and the East China Sea. The government system is a parliamentary government with a constitutional monarchy. The chief head of the state is the emperor and the head of the government is the prime minister. Japan has a market economy in which the prices of goods and services are determined in a price system. Japan is a member of the S Asia Pacific Economic Corporation and the Trans Pacific Partnership. The economy of Japan is a highly developed social market economy, often referred to as an East Asian model. It is the third largest in the world by nominal GDP and the fourth largest by purchasing power parity. It is the world's second largest developed economy. Japan is a member of the G7 and G20. In 2018, Japan was the world's fourth largest importer and the fourth largest exporter. It has the world's second largest foreign exchange reserves worth $1.4 trillion. It ranks fifth on the World Global Competitiveness Report. It ranks first in the world in the Economic Complexity Index. Japan is the world's fourth largest consumer market. Moving towards the next, you can see this is the GDP per capita in Japan. Uh, the current GDP of Japan is $4.3 trillion. And you can see it is, uh, the, uh, the graph of Japan economy. Uh, moving towards the next, this is the sectors of Japan economy agriculture, farming, and fishing from the prim primary sector of industry of Japanese economy together with the Japanese mining industry. But together, they count only 1.3% of gross national product. Only 20% of Japan's land is suitable for cultivation, and the agriculture economy is highly subsidized. Uh, the sectors of Japan are agriculture, fishery, industry, education, and uh, health. Uh, first, I would like to start with agriculture. Rice accounts for almost all of Japan's cereal production. Japan is the second largest agricultural importer in the world. Rice is the most protected crop. It's subjected to tariffs of 777.7%. Japan is the fifth largest market for the European Union's agricultural export. Over 90% of mandarin oranges in Japan are grown. Apples are also grown due to restriction on apple imports. Fishery in Japan. 
Japan maintains one of the world's largest fishing fleets and accounts for nearly 50% of the global catch, prompting some claims that Japan's fishing is leading to depletion in fish stocks such as tuna. Japan has also sparked controversy by supporting quasi-commercial value. Industry in Japan Japanese manufacturing and industry is very diversified with a variety of advanced industries that are highly successful. Industry accounts for 30.1% according to 2017 of the nation's GDP. The country's manufacturing output is the third highest in the world. Automobile manufacturing in Japan. Japan is the third biggest producer of motor automobiles in the world. Toyota is currently the world's largest car maker and the Japanese car makers Nissan, Honda, Suzuki and Majda also count for some of the largest car makers in the world. Mining and Petroleum <coughs> Exploration Japan's mining production has been minimal and Japan has very little mining deposits. However, massive deposits of rare arts have been found off the coast in Japan. In 2019, Japan was the second largest world producer of iodine, fourth largest worldwide producer of bismuth, the world's ninth largest producer of sulfur, and the tenth largest producer of gypsum. Services, service sector in Japan. Service sector is the most important sector of Japan's economy. Japan's service sector accounts for 68.7% according to 2017 of its total economic output. Banking, insurance, real estate, retailing, transportation, and telecommunication are all major industries such as Mitsubi, UFJ, Mizuho, NTT, TEPCO, Namura, Mitsubishi Estate, Yon, Mitsuyo Sumitomo, SoftBank, JR, East, 7 and i KDDI, and Japan Airlines counting as one of the largest companies in the world. Japan Airlines do face with massive de debts as of 2010 is considered one of the largest airlines in the world. Education system in Japan, as you can see, the literacy rate, the main literacy rate of Japan is 95.97% and female literacy rate is 95, also 95.97% and the total literacy rate of education system in Japan is 94.97%. Now we'll proceed to the health uh, care system of Japan economy. The healthcare system in Japan provides healthcare services, including screening, examinations, prenatal care, and infectious disease control, with the patient accepting responsibility for 30% of this cost, while the government pays the remaining 70%. Payment for personal medical services is offered by a universal healthcare insurance system that provides relative equality of access with fees set by a government committee. All residents of Japan are required by the law to have health insurance coverage. People without insurance from employers can participate in a national health insurance program administered by local governments. Patients are free to select physicians or facilities of their choice and cannot be denied coverage. Hospitals by law must be run as non-profit and be managed by physicians. People in Japan have the longest life expectancy at birth of those of any other country in the world. You can see that Japan has the uh, least infant mortality rate and has the highest uh, life expectancy in the world. Economic reforms in Japan in last 10 years from 2009 to 2019. In June 2009, the government set out new targets for fiscal 
consolidation, stabilizing the public debt ratio by the mid 2010s and putting it on a downward trend from the early 2020s. While Japan suffered in 2008 and 2009, posting negative growth of 5.4% for 2009. It was one of the first and fastest to recover with positive growth figures at the end of 2009 and predicted growth of 1.7% for 2010. In late November, 2009, the yen rose to its highest value against the dollar in 14 years when it hit 84.2 Japanese yen to the dollar with strong buying of the yen as a safe haven on the news of severe debt problems in Dubai. Prime Minister Sindhu, Sindhu Abe's three-pronged approach dubbed Abenomics and launch in 2013 combines fiscal expansion, monetary easing, and structural reform. Its immediate goal is to boost domestic demand and gross domestic product growth until while raising inflation to, to, uh, to 2%. The labor standard laws was changed in 2018 among its provisions the, it allowed quantity of overtime work. A serious problem in Japan was limited to 100 hours per month, while the work hour limitation and overtime payments for highly paid professionals have been removed. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe have prioritized constitutional reform over economic issues in 2019 with a view to holding a national referendum by 2020. Next, proceeding to current economic challenges of Japan economy. The Bank of Japan and the Japanese government have tried a host of different measures to get the economy moving. For instance, the Bank of Japan was the first central bank to ever implement quantitative easing, a monetary policy of asset buying which sought to drive long interest rates to near zero levels. The second Shinzo Abe administration, which took office in 2012, introduced the three programs of Abenomics to try to revive the economy. These were an aggressively expansionary monetary policy, increased government spending, and changes the regulation to increase trade and growth. While these policies kept the Japanese economy from sliding into a prolonged recession or even a depression, they failed to move it out of stagnation. Compounding the woes of the Japanese economy, was the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and 2021, which badly damaged its economy. For instance, real GDP declined at an annualized rate of over 32% in the second quarter of 2022. Before recovering, they only just over 20% the next quarter with more muted rises and falls over the next few quarters. Japan's GDP as of Q3 2021 remains pre-pandemic level. Looking into 2022, Japanese economy faces several challenges like keeping the economic recovery going, diversifying investment away from China, and addressing its demographic problems. Rural and urban economy at present. Rural and ar urban life in Japan is, uh, urban population is 78% and rural population is 22%. It means that most of the people of Japan lives in urban areas. Compared to 90% urban and 10% rural in Great Britain and 13% urban and 87% rural in Ethiopia. At present, around 45% of the population of Japan is concentrated in three metropolitan 
metropolitan areas around Tokyo, Osaka, and Nagoya. Now I'd like to hand over the next part of the forum to Governor General Bank of Japan, Ms. Subhagni Borwa. We continuing the next part of the forum, starting with the employment scenario at present in Japan. Employment in Japan has constantly been over 90% during the period, indicating the steady job situation in Japan. During 2019 to 2020 academic year, the rate reached 97.8%, which means nearly all the students were able to get a job upon graduation. Moving to infrastructural at present and future projects. Japan has a very advanced and well-maintained infrastructure, which undergoes regular upgrading and expansion. Both private and public sector in Japan undertaking infrastructural projects and operate respective services. Japan has a very extensive and modern road network. Future projects. Mitsubishi State builds the tallest building in Japan, expected to be completed by 2027. Prices and areas. The price of an apartment in the Kornu residence, the Park House Harumi Towers, is around US dollar 7,000 per square meter, Japan yen 77 lakhs. Aspiration for the summit. Ties with India. India, Japan, peace treaty was one of the first peace treaties Japan signed after World War I. Even though India and Japan have exchanged defense ideas for almost two decades, they also declared a shared interest in keeping the Indo-Pacific open and free. As partners in the quadrilateral security dialogue along with the US and Australia, their bilateral cooperation is still lacking. U.S.-China interference in the Indo-Pacific prevented both sides from implementing their desired strategic objectives. Defense budget of Japan was $49.15 billion in the year 2020, which is 1% of its GDP. It is making increasing expenditure to secure its borders and play a key role in Asia and its stability. Defense ties with India. India-Japan Defense and Security Partnership has evolved over the years from bilateral and multilateral exercises including Dharma, Garden and Malabar respectively and welcoming the participation of Japan for the first time in Exercise Milan. Economic Ties with India In 1991, a test of the reliability of Japan as a friend was witnessed when Japan was among the few countries that bail India out of the balance of payment crisis. In recent years, the economic relationship between Japan and India has steadily expanded and depend the volume of trade between the two countries has increased. Japan was the 12th largest trading partner for India in 2020. Also, direct investment from Japan to India has increased and Japan was the fourth largest investor in India in FFY 2020. Healthcare. In view of the similarities and synergies between the goals and objective of India's Ayushman Bharat program and Japan's AWIN, both sides have been consulting with each other to identify projects to build the narrative of AWIN for Ayushman Bharat, investment and official development assistance. India has the largest recipient of the Japanese official development assistance loan for the first decades. Delhi Metro is one of the most successful examples of Japanese corporations for the utilization of official development assistance. Japan-India Summit Meeting, September 27, 2022 At the outest, Prime Minister Kishida appreciated Prime Minister Modi's visit to Japan to attend the state funestatorial for former Prime Minister Abe. Prime Minister Kishida expressed his intention to continue working with Prime Minister Modi to realize a to release a free open Indo-Pacific building on the diplomatic legacies of former Prime Minister Abe. Prime Minister Kishida stated that the period for this year which marks the 70th anniversary of the establishment of Japan India diplomatic relations to next year when Japan and India will respectively assume the G7 and G20 presidencies offers an excellent opportunity to further strengthen the Japan-India special strategic and global partnership. The leaders confirmed to promote bilateral cooperation in various fields. 
the leaders exchange views regarding the regional situation, including the situation in Ukraine. They reaffirm their shared recognition for the importance of peaceful settlement of disputes as well as transparent and comparable development finance and confirm to continue working together in view of Japan and India's respective presidencies of the G7 and G20 next year. The first Indian bullet train project, it is a 508 kilometer long high speed rail corridor building with the help of Japan. The train will run at a speed of 320 kilometer per hour and is expected to be completed by 2023. The Japan International Cooperation Agency, 81% of the project estimated 1.1 lakh crore cost is being funded by the Japan International Cooperation Agency. Now, I would like to hand over the next part of the forum to Honorable Chief Economic Advisor, Mr. Ritesh Sharma. Thank you, Governor General. Now, I want to continue on the part. I will uh, start with the ties with Germany. Japan is one of uh, Germany's most important trading partners in Asia. And Germany is Japan's most important partnering country in Europe. Since 2009, the volume of trade has grown steadily reaching approximately 42.4 billion euro in 2017. Japan and the EU are linked not only by close partnership within the G7, but also by our strong economic relations, which are underpinned by shared values. The growing Germany-Japan relationship is characterized by two trends. The first trend is the increase of high-level communication. Three high-level German governmental officials, the president, chancellor and foreign minister have made uh, official visits to Japan so far this year. In the cases of Chancellor Scholz and German foreign minister Anila uh, Baerbock, Japan was chosen as a destination on their first trip to Asia. Other high-level communication channel such as the uh, Japan-Germany foreign and defense ministers meeting 2 plus 2 and uh, the intergovernmental uh, consultations by the prime minister and cabinet ministers are also in operation or in pre preparation the second uh, trend is the expansion uh, the second trend is the expansion of areas of cooperation while germany and japan have been intensifying their bilateral uh, cooperation in the field of economy and trade their security cooperation has also been growing baerbock spoke of seeking the two countries stronger defense ties in the indo-pacific region factors affecting the trade the first factor which is at the bilateral level is japan's issue linkage strategy since the time of away shinjo's administration tokyo has been linking security challenges in europe and in east asia together to make european partners pay more attention to japan at Kishida's meeting with Scholz in April this year, after stating Japan's ongoing cooperation with Germany to impose severe sanctions on Russia, the Japanese Prime Minister also reminded his, uh, his German counterpart the security of Europe was inseparable from the security in Indo-Pacific. <coughs> the second factor is at uh, Germany's domestic level, namely uh, the increase of domestic support for a value-based foreign policy. The prevailing domestic preferences for strengthening ties with partners uh, with shared values has made uh, Japan an ideal part, uh, partner candidate with the Greens and FDP's participation in the ruling coalition. Uh, more tough works on human rights are written in Germany's coalition agreement. Future, uh, uh, future challenges. Although the two countries are growing closer to each other, the first challenge uh, is China's behavior. Beijing may ask Germany not to uh, get too close to Japan on some issues such as human rights and territorial disputes. In return for responding at least partially to Germany's demands because of its uh, close ties with Russia and Germany's dependency on Russia for its energy needs. The second challenge is Japan's future policy. For now, Japan is still uh, importing energy from Russia and has not joined the sanctions uh, imposed on China by the European Union and the Union uh, States over Xinjiang. If Japan does not have enough resolution to change its existing policy, Germany-Japan relations value-based might be questioned soon. And now <coughs> the third challenge. The third challenge is Germany's shifting policy for the Indo-Pacific. While its uh, policy guidelines issued in 2019 emphasized the importance of closing ranks with uh, democracies and partners with shared values in the region, 
the dilute uh, the dilution of the criteria for partners with less emphasis on shared values and democratic institutions may result in germany's increasing outreach to a wider range of countries in the region japan's priority in germany's foreign policy to asia may thus decrease <clears throat> so now coming to future aspirations since 1985 the uh, japanese german center berlin has been working to promote exchange in the field of politics business culture and academia it also serves uh, as the german secretariat of the annual german uh, japanese forum <clears throat> After the uh, pandemic uh, triggered a drop in the volume of trade between Germany and Japan in 2020, uh, 2021 saw a recovery. Germany imported goods valued at uh, 23.5 billion euro in 2021, while German exports amounted to 18.42 billion euro. The most important trade uh, goods were machinery, vehicles and vehicle parts electronic and electrical goods as well as uh, chemical products. Japan is thus Germany's second largest trading partner in Asia. The Japan session was held at the International Forum of Bio, Bio Europe uh, headed by Germany. In, his, uh, in this opening uh, remarks, Jetro Executive Vice President Ayoma uh, presented on the uh, following proactive efforts by Jetro to promote innovation in the Japanese pharmaceutical field. Future aspirations uh, number one. Raising awareness of bio clusters existing across Japan through activities promoting investment into Japan, mainly in automobile, electronics, biochemicals, education programs, etc. Number two, supporting uh, Japanese bio startups to expand their business overseas and domestically facilitating collaboration between such firms and universities and research institutes. The European Union uh, Japan Trade Agreement of 2013 also makes Germany one of the most leading countries to increase its trade horizons in Japan. So now I want to hand over the last part of the forum to our Honorable Chief Economic Advisor to continue. So I'll be continuing once again. As all of you have come to know about the ties between Japan and India and also the ties between Germany and Japan, uh, I would like to continue uh, with the ties again, uh, ties with World Trade Organization, which is one of the famous organization. Uh, the World Trade, uh, World Trade Organization is only 